Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing today? Are you ready for your English class? Hello, Byron. Hello, I'm ready. Hello, Andrea. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Nayeli. Hello, Maria. Hello, Dennis Adonai. Hello, Luis Miguel. Hello, Hello. Martin. Hello, Nuria. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Andrea Esmeralda. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. How are you today? I said, how are you today? Oh, my God. <coughs> Hold on, hold on. Let me let me start the class one more time. Give me give me one second. Give me one. Okay. Can everybody hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah, teacher. How was your week? <laughs> um, nice. <laughs> okay. What did you do this weekend? I go to shopping. I go or I went? I went. I went to shopping. I went to or I went shopping? I went shopping. I went shopping. Okay, good. And uh, what did you buy? My young suit for my graduation. Wow. Where did you go? La Gran Vía. Nice, nice. And you bought a, a suit, a dress, shoes? A what suit. A coat and a pants and a top. Oh, okay, okay, very nice. Was it crowded or, or no? What does mean? A crowded. Uh, uh, a lot of people. Uh, no, no, no. It was uh, very alone. Oh, really? It was strange because uh, it was day paid. Payday. And it was, mm -hmm. okay. it was mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. Okay. This weekend was payday. Oh, what? well, mm -hmm. for me, yes. They paid oh. me six and 22. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. Okay, okay, okay. Not for everybody. Not for everybody. <laughs> uh, yeah, not That's for everybody. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the ninth. Byron, how was your weekend? Hello, I I was to drive drive or travel to the other municipio. Uh, you, you can say, say municipality. What? Municipality. Ah, okay. Municipality. 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 Yes. And I'm working very hard. Uh, oh, you work on the weekends. You don't have off on the weekends. Yeah, um, we can travel, but I need um, out to. Sacar expedientes. Uh, How do you no. say expedientes? File. Files. 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 Good job. Files. All right. All right. A lot of work, a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I like that. Money. I like that. Much good. Work. Good. Much, much work than money. Hernandez, <laughs> Maria, how was your weekend? Mm, very busy. What did you do this weekend? And on Saturday, I went to my son. Mm -hmm. um, to the university. He, 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 he's He's doing, he's doing, 
doing? His exams. Exam. Final exams. Uh, no. Graduation exams. Is, no, is. Oh. Um, oh. Is. Um, I don't remember. Para entrar. Ah, registration admission. exam. Enrollment exam. Uh, yeah, or admission. Repeat, or repeat, repeat. Enrollment exam. Enrollment exam. Enrollment yeah. exam. Enrollment exam. Yeah. And Sunday he was uh, we we went to yeah you know, a competition competition basketball competition no, gym competition no, kick, kickboxing competition kickboxing competition oh. yeah did he win? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. It sounds like you had a very exciting weekend. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Luis, how was your weekend? Uh, I had a weekend pretty nice. What did you do? Because my, my cousin come... Uh, come to the country ah, okay. from Arizona. Okay, Arizona, Woo! we love it. Uh, and we, we went to beach. Oh, what beach did you visit? Uh, it's a rancho. Beach house, beach house. Beach house in San Diego. Nice. Ooh. That's why you look tan. I I don't <laughs> like the beach. Only only drink soft in in the pool. What did you drink? Tequila. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah. more or less. Is okay. is relaxing okay that's good that's good well uh i'm happy to see you guys i'm glad that you guys are in class i hope that you had a very relaxing weekend that you guys have energy and that you are ready to get started one more time with your class uh, in yes in friday thursday's class we were looking at the midterm exam everybody finished the midterm exam so today we're gonna go ahead and move forward and we're gonna get started on section number four. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the first section on section number four. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Can you see my screen? Can everybody see my screen? I can't, I, don't I can see. You can't? Okay, one moment, something's, my computer is stuck. Okay, one second. Okay, I see what it is. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Uh, Practice asking and answering questions in English using the present perfect and simple past tense. In this lesson, English teacher Joe Sainz and Ruben Santos explains when you use simple past versus the present perfect tense, depending on the time frame of the action. Practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing your past experiences by responding in both the present perfect and the simple past this 
Lesson includes an English oral comprehension exercise. Let's listen, please. I'm going to turn on the sound. Please listen. Hi, everyone. Can everybody By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of everybody food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've Can everybody visited. hear? You'll also learn how to express past experiences. Yes, you can hear? For example, you'll be able to yeah. ask and answer the okay. following. Yes, teacher. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on given more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now, the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried them last month, and the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information, so they were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect, and then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. 
In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject, then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month, so I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now, the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now, all of the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is, no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue to the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say, yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So. If you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. 
Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever you start talking about that past experience, the next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like? Did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well, you can you can respond to that by answering yes, I did, or no, I didn't. I thought it was great. Or, I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? All right, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Who wants to volunteer? One volunteer. Okay, Rebecca, my volunteer. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for volunteering. Rebecca, let's look at the first question. The first question reads, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Excuse me? Uh, yes, the questions are in the WhatsApp chat. Do you see the WhatsApp chat? I sent the questions to the WhatsApp chat group. Do you see the questions? Um, um, question, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, what beach did you go to? What? Uh, what beach did you go to? Oh, um, Libertad, San Diego. Oh, nice. And mm -hmm. who did you go with? Excuse me? Eh. Who did you go with to the beach picnic? Con, con que... Huh? Um, oh, yeah. my, my family, my family. With my family. Uh, what did you eat in the picnic? Um, um mariscada. <laughs> mariscada, uh, conchas, hotel de conchas. Okay. <laughs> okay. The next question, have you ever eaten Mexican food? Um, um, tacos. No, no, no. The question is, mm -hmm. have you alguna vez ever eaten Has comido comida mexicana? Mexican food, yes. Yes, yes. See? Okay, yes. you, can, you can respond, uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, yes, I have. Nice, nice. <laughs> and what restaurant have you eaten Mexican food? Um, 
Uno, uno que se llama Tacos Felipe. Oh, okay. En Escalón. Sí. I am familiar with Felipe's restaurants. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Rebecca. All right, guys. I want you to practice. Uh, one student ask the question. Another student respond to the question. And then vice versa. Once the other student asks the question and the other student responds to the question. We will put you in pairs. You will have five minutes. Let's go. Eh, ¿Quién más está en el grupo? María, Cindy, Catherine. Hello. Rebeca. Nice to see you, all of you. Hello. Okay. Está Rebeca. Eh, haga, haga una pregunta a usted, cualquiera de nosotros, Rebeca. Y como usted ya, ya participó en clase. <laughs> ok. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? ¿A quién se la va a hacer? Um, a María. Um, in you? <laughs> ah, okay. Eh, no, I don't. I don't have a picnic at the beach. Eh, But I, but I, I, I eat Mexican food. Uh, I, I eat with, with my wife uh, tortas in, in a restaurant. Uh, Maria. Yeah. Uh, have you? Have you ever eaten exotic, exotic food? Mm -hmm. uh, rabbit meat. Excuse uh, me? Rabbit meat. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, and, mm, uh, and I where where do remember. you I don't remember the, the other meat is, is cabrito. Ah, cabro. Cabrito. Cabro asado. Yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. Okay, please ask ask a question to Catherine Maria. Catherine. Catherine, hola Have Catherine. You ever... Hello. Yes. Catherine, have you ever visit, visited Europe? Um, no, I haven't. But I have one day I can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh... You asking Catherine to to anybody? To Cindy. Yes. Can I ask to Cindy? Yes. Who will ask? Catherine, ask a question to Cindy. Okay. Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. I ate Mexican food in La Calaca. I love La Calaca. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> where 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 do you live, Cindy? I live in San Juan Pico. 
Ah, ok. I live in Santa Ana City. There are uh, La Calaca restaurants too. Yes, in Lourdes too. <laughs> ok, it's ok. The food in the, in the restaurant. Yes, very good. <laughs> Okay, um, other, other question, um, Cindy Carolina. Okay. Uh, and... I, I asked a question, Cindy. Have you, have you ever been to, to a picnic at the beach? Uh, um, yes, I have. I have a picnic with my friends in in the beach. Okay. Well, what what a um, where where beach to to visit? And uh, Los Cobanos in Cobano. Sonsonate. Los I Cobano love that place. It is when there are uh, more uh, piedras, como se dice, stone, stone. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, there okay. are a lot of stones there. Okay, uh, there are a uh, 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 Nile, Nile where the where the water is is cool. Mm. Verdad que hay un río que el agua es muy helada ahí. I never see it. Aunque okay, no, ¿cómo no? Mm, no. I have not seen it. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. um, Demos otra vuelta. Hoy Cindy que le pregunte a, a Catherine. Ok. Después... Catherine. Yeah. The, second, the second question is... Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. I love Mexican food. Uh, what kind of restaurant? I heard... La Calaca, right? Or yeah, do you have Calaca another? And Los Tacos Hermanos. Ah, uh, where is? Uh, San Salvador. Ah, okay. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, Catherine. Ask a question to Maria. Okay. Hello, Maria. Hello, Catherine. Have you ever visited Europe? Not yet. No, I have. I don't have yet. Oh. I did, and I. I have a question to Rebecca. Rebecca, uh, yes. Yes. have you ever eaten exotic, exotic food? Uh, no, I have. No, I haven't. No, I. No, yeah. I don't I have. have. Oh yeah. Okay. And you asked to Martin. Rebecca, ask me a question. Ask, ask to, ask to a question to Martin. Okay. Um, have you ever eaten Mexican, Mexican food? Yes, I have. I eat in tortas in the in the restaurant that like the calaca. Oh, yeah. okay. And I I like uh, eating um uh, what is that name to that uh, is uh, like 
It's it's a a, a torta which would have a car a meat to chicken and and meat to ¿Cómo se dice carne de res? Mm, beef. Beef is 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 there are a, a lot of a three three types to to eat to meat to Carnes, tres clases de carne lleva la, la torta. It's, it's okay. Okay, that's right. Ya se inscribieron en el en el grupo, niñas, para la nueva, para la nueva. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, take the attendance. We are going to take the attendance. When I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. Uh, let me have the first participant for today, Andrea Dayanara. Present. Thank you. Andrea Dayanara, thank you. Uh, Andrea Esmeralda. is absent, okay. Angel. Angel. Present. Present. Excellent. Angel. Byron. Present. Very good. Dennis. Present. Awesome. Hai Ling. Present. Great. Catherine. Present. Excellent. Kenya. Kenya what? Roxana. Oh. Is absent, okay. Kenya Yamilet. Present. Thank you. Luis. Sorry, uh, it's my name. Luis, very good. Luis, thank you. Uh, excellent. Maria. I'm here. Very good. Martin. Martin is absent. Teacher, acá estoy, Kenny Ayala. Pero no oh. le pude contestar, no sé por qué no puedo, no podía activar el micrófono. Ok, Kenia Ayala is present. Good. Present, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Martín is absent. Eh, Moisés. Moisés is absent. Nayeli. Present. Thank you. Nuria. Present. Good job. Rebecca. Present teacher. Excellent. Cindy. Here. Very good. Okay. 
All right, guys. Now, for the next activity, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be taking a look at section number 4.2, Knowledge Check. Instructions. Read and listen to the following conversation and answer the questions. I would like for you to work in pairs with your groups, and then we will check together. You will have five minutes to complete this activity in groups, and then we will check together. Hi. Uh, uh, I don't see it. Está cargando. Es que no. Okay. Creo que es que siempre me ha costado entrar a esta hora. Okay. Okay. I can try too. Okay. No me no entro. Eh, yo, yo creo que sí, vente, ya voy. I can, I can. Eh, it's the 4.2, right? Ah, oh, igual. Ya entre, pero. You can. I have it now. Okay. Can I share? Do you see? Yes, I, I can see. Okay. Uh, I don't know if, uh, to share the... Ah, okay. Here you are. This is the activity, right? Oh, yeah. I can... We need, we need to listen the mm -hmm. first audio, but I can... Don't know. You can. No. I can too. Uh, but I can. Oh. Listen and practice. Do you hear? Yes, I. I. I hear. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, uh, do you want to hear again? Yes, please. Okay, but... 
I can't put play. I don't know why. Charge, charge the page again. Hey, this sounds strange. Did you hear? Snails Did you hear? with garlic. Yes, yes, I have can. Have you okay. ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Okay, I think that the first one is the option. The first option. Uh -huh. And the second, the number two is the second one. The so, fried brains. ¿Cuál mm -hmm. es, cuál es la, la, el ejercicio? I think that is this, but oh. I don't. 4.2. 4. 4. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, okay. In the three true or fail, the simple past is a tense that involves events that happened in the past and have been completed. This I is true. That, mm -hmm, it's true, I think. It's true. Thanks, Cantari. Uh, have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I did. Yes, I the did. second one. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. Well, this is a correct response to the question. Did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I have. No, yes, I did because ah, the question yes. is with did. did. You're right. You're right. Okay, we can send. And everything is all right. It's right. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know okay. if you want to repeat or we can or read, go back. Read. Read, uh -huh. read the yes. question. Okay. Uh, okay. I can try. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Has has Kiri Kiri or Katie? Katie, I think. <laughs> has Katie ever eaten snails? Uh, option is yes, she has. She hates snails. Last week, uh, no, she hasn't. She think they stay awful. No, she hasn't, but she would like to order them. Uh, the second one, what do you still order? Uh, the option is, the option are, it's no. The option R. is is or are. R, I think that are because it's plural. The option are in plural. Mm -hmm. Steve order the nails. Steve order the fries brains. Steve order order a burger. And the next okay. true or true or false. The simple pass is tense that involves. All right, guys, let me have one volunteer. Give me the answer for the first one. Let me have one volunteer. Give me the answer. Okay, Catherine. Um, the right answer is the first one. Yes, she has. She ate snail last week. Thank you. Thank you. Number two, Rebecca. <laughs> no me, no me, no me carga la página, teacher. Espéreme. Okay, um, Martin. 
Hey, ahí está Martín. Eh, Martín, le voy a poner aus presente porque le había puesto ausente. Give me one second, guys, please. I love the, the sign up to the internet teacher. Yeah, 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 right now. Ahorita le ponemos presente. Give me one second. All right. So that is Martin. That is the ninth. Ninth, eh, Andrea Esmeralda is absent. Martin present. Okay, solo Moises y Andrea Esmeralda are absent. Okay, go ahead, Martin. What did Steve order? Steve order the frilled brains. 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 Fried brains. What? Fried brains. Brains. It doesn't sound delicious. <laughs> yeah. Does it sound delicious? <laughs> It sounds scary. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> it's disgusting. Okay, number three, Maria. Uh, the, uh, uh, this is true. True, good. Number four, Luis. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, sorry. What is the correct the correct response to the question? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? The option one. Yes, I did. Ever eat Mexican food? Yes, I have. I want to. Oh, the second one. It's the second is... one. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Good. Good. Yes, sorry. Yes, I have. I went to Mexican. Good, good. Byron, number five. Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, number um, five. Did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. I had some on my way to work. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Perfect. Any questions about this activity? All right, let's go ahead and look at section number 4.4, sequence adverbs. The last one, and then we go. Teacher, solo algo. Siempre que nos preguntan con how, Describe. respondemos con how. Y cuando nos preguntan con did, respondemos con did. ¿Verdad? Eh, vaya, si le ponemos, por ejemplo... Eh, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, alguna vez ha ido al Decameron, te va a responder, yes. Yes, ah, I have. I have. Vale, si yo le pregunto, ¿fue la última vacación? Did you go the last vacation? Usted va a decir, yes, I did. Será la pregunta. Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right. Let's go. Air food Can using sequence it? adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a Can recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. Everybody here? In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio. Eh, Escuchan el audio, guys? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, so I'm going to this up. Thank you. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. 
In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan, then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together. Then we use another sequence adverb, we use then, lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter and finally fry the bread until it's brown on both sides and what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explained in this case a food recipe we use sequence adverbs to do this and so as I mentioned we use first we use then we use next we use after that and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together, then toast the slices of bread, then spread the mixture on the toast, then put the sandwich in a pan with butter, then try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain. And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, it should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then, next, and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together. Next, toast the slices of bread. After that, so they could be interchangeable. There's no rule that says that uh, then it needs to come after first. You can use those three interchangeably. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite 
food recipe. And I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your ideas. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. All right, guys, it's time to go. We're going to get go ahead and stop right here. Please continue working on the platform on section number four, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, Good night teacher. Thank you. Tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.